Hi, everyone, again. <laughs> uh, thank you for the invitation, uh, Open Life Science team. Uh, I am very happy to be part of the folks who bring some expertise to the second Open Life Science cohort. I will talk briefly about open education and training today. Most of my time will go into presenting Metalocensia's case study. Please bear with me until slide five, uh, if you are wondering what that name means. So I am Laura Sion, a mid-career researcher from and currently at Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, however, what brought me here today is my role as one of Metadocencia's co-founders. These are Metadocencia's and uh, my Twitter handle, in case you want to tweet about this presentation. And thank you, Sharon McCutcheon, for sharing this beautiful picture on Unsplash so I could reuse it. Building on a great presentation by Caleb Kivet uh, for the first cohort uh, in OLS, I will start by giving a definition of open education according to Open Education Global. Open education encompasses resources, tools, and practices that employ a framework of open sharing to improve educational access and effectiveness worldwide. Still while building on Caleb's presentation here, Open educational resources must follow the FAIR principle. This means that resources should be findable, accessible, and reusable. Yeah, I'm missing the interoperational here. That's more for data. Um, this, uh, the last bit of uh, reusable is key because uploading your educational resources to a public website does not make them reusable, really. So open educational resources require a license allowing reuse, remix, and sharing. And this is a slide five. So here it goes, the definition of that term. Metalocensia, our case study today, checks all the boxes I'm, I just mentioned in the last slide. In particular, all the resources developed by Metalocensia are sharing, I shared, are shared, sorry, using a CC BY 4.0 license. Um, so, the name, Metadocencia's meaning. Uh, Metadocencia can be translated from Spanish to English as meta teaching. Uh, Metadocencia is an initiative that teaches to teach in Spanish. Last mid March, with the need to switch every class from in person to online in Argentina, where we don't know when in person classes will resume yet. These friends with whom we have been working in the art community and I co-founded Metadocencia. Our mission is to nurture a community of Spanish speaking educators by teaching concrete, evidence-based and student-centered educational methods. We collaboratively develop open, reusable and accessible resources to foster effective training practices. We are heavily inspired by the Carpentries and open education organization worth checking out if you are not familiar with it yet. I bet a lot of you know about it here. So you might be wondering why there is a need for Metadocencia when there are so many open educational resources about teaching already available. Well, on the one hand, most state-of-the-art resources and communities around them are majorly in English or are English-speaking communities. On the other hand, English is an enormous barrier in Latin America. Translations of contents are not enough for culturally responsible teaching, meaning our learners where they are in Latin America means to not make assumptions about the knowledge of technologies such as Zoom, Slack, or Google Docs, and being conscious about internet access and accessibility differences. There is a ton of terrain leveling work needed before meaningful international integration is feasible. Communities of practice are still a new concept in our region. In mid-March, the need for all we have learned from several international communities of practice was more evident than ever. We had the knowledge, the experience, and the moral obligation to share it ASAP. So seven months later, our core team of carpentries or our studio certified trainers and instructors added Nicolas, another carpentries trainer and instructor. Our collaborators teams, the team now includes 10 collaborators in three countries and six different cities in Argentina. 
they are our studio certified instructors, carpentries instructors, and our regionally knowledgeable accessibility experts. We are also blessed by an international advisory team that is guiding us. We are not only pictures in a website or interact only through Slack, we also have periodic team meetings. This is a picture of part of our team during our last monthly meeting. Only eight of us were able to join. Although missing key folks, this is how it looks to work together for us. While, talking, uh, while taking this picture, we realized that this is how it will always look for us because Metadocencia's team is geographically spread and our budget will not go into meeting in person anytime soon. Meeting in person is not currently a priority, particularly because we know how to function very well online. This is great news, not only for Metadocencia, but also for our planet. Among various activities, we have taught our three our hands-on workshop introduction to teaching online over 30 times. We completed a carpentry instructor training for 19 participants, 18 of whom are now in instructors certified by the carpentry. We are piloting a two-hour hands-on workshop and how to use Zoom to teach online. This is the most common request from our participants. Also, a three-hour workshop for creating interactive tutorials to teach to code with R using the R package learner. We've reached more than 1,200, 1,200, yeah, <laughs> Spanish-speaking uh, teachers across 19 countries. We have reached educators from all over Argentina, including underserved rural areas. Our learners teach mostly exact and natural sciences, but also other disciplines. We foster a community through a 100% Spanish-speaking Slack workspace, where we apologize when we share materials in English. It includes more than 300 members. We are also active tweets and, and, and asynchronous content creators. These 19 posts include contributions from persons who are part of our community. We also will community by working together with other communities and institutions at local, regional, and international levels. Our current materials have been repurposed to suit audiences of early career researchers at the National Agriculture Agricultural Technology Institute in Argentina. We taught tutorials for LatinR, a Latin American conference for the use of R in research and development. We also repurposed our materials to encourage the Spanish speaking R ladies community worldwide to continue having events, gatherings, and teaching online through pandemic times. Finally, we hosted a genu generously carpentries authorized a la carta a la carte instructor training workshop in Spanish that had a 95% checkout rate. More links to other communities include Nordiala, an Argentine event and community that shares our principles and values and sought us as supporter for their event this year. We also lent Metadocencia infrastructure to host the launching of PyLadies El Alto in Bolivia and for a presentation of several R-related initiatives from Latin America at USAR 2020 and an international diversity and inclusion panel also at USAR 2020. So in the upcoming month, we keep thinking globally while acting locally, considering the different realities of Latin American Spanish-speaking educators. However, one lesson we learned is that Metadocencia will not be sustainable only on volunteer time. Thus, we are actively looking for funding uh, and to become fiscally sponsored. We also plan to keep developing workshops to teach how to teach programming, Python, R, Git, and other open source and open data science must-haves. We also plan to measure our impact and publish our experience openly. All of our activities were possible thanks to our team's volunteer time and a 1,000 US dollar grant from the Open Bioinformatics Foundation that supports our Zoom, Calendly, and other infrastructure. And in this link, you can find more information about Metadocencia. This is our English version, so don't worry. <laughs> no Spanish in that one. The, the rest is in Spanish, but we also have a, an English version. So thank you for your attention. 